Hey Chris, what are we, what are we learning about today? Today we're gonna to be talking about Ranger headlights. We're gonna talk about LED headlights. We're gonna talk about halogen headlights. Pat's gonna get into some of the details on the differences between how those lights are made. We're gonna talk about the benefits of some of them. And then we're actually gonna shut the lights off. We're gonna just cast them up on a wall and we're gonna show you the differences between them. Instead of just telling you how great they are, we're gonna show you. All right, first, we're gonna start with halogen headlights. These are the type of lights we've had in Rangers for a long time. Pat's gonna get into some of the details on how those are made and we're gonna show them off. Yeah, swing over here. So I got, I got a spare that I dropped in here just to kind of show people what these look like. Um, but the key here is never touch this glass part. Like your, the oils from your fingers can actually cause them to burn out prematurely. Uh, but what you see here is you got a nice sealed uh, area for the, for the bulb to insert. You got a nice sealed connector area, right? So really good for off-road environments, but this, this technology has been around for a long time, right? When you think about the old bulb you screwed in at your mom's house, right? That was probably a halogen. Yep. You're probably not using those much anymore, right? Um, so the nice thing about this tried and true technology, you kind of get this yellow light pattern out of it. Really, there's one bulb on each side. This has got a filament for low and high in the same bulb. So it's a single, single bulb for that. And then it's all about the reflector geometry in the back of this, kind of forms a parabola to really throw the light out in front of the vehicle. Um, uses a little bit more current though, so you don't have quite as much left over to run your accessories, um, you know, beyond just the stock vehicle electronics. But you know, pretty simple setup. Most people are used to them. Simple to swap out a bulb if you ever have one that you do have to replace. Um, just remove the hood off your Ranger. <clears throat> and if you kind of shove the camera right down in here, you'll see where that connector is. You grab the tab, pull it off the back, and then twist the bulb and pull it right out the back. Installation, reverse of uh, you know, removal process. So Chris, should we move over to the uh, other machine here and talk through LEDs? Yeah, so these are the traditional headlights you would have seen on Ranger, but across the board, we've really upgraded to these LED headlights on most of our vehicles, and that's because they're just way better. They cast a white light that's a lot brighter. As Pat mentioned, they're more efficient. I also think they just look cooler. Zoom in on that, Eric. Those are some awesome looking headlights. Um, and not only do they look cool, but they're also way more functional. They're brighter. And we're going to show you guys that later on. But Pat, can you explain, like, what's, what's an LED? What's LED stand for? And how's <laughs> yeah. that different than a halogen light? Yeah, what, what does LED stand for? It stands for light emitting diode. So when you think about it, it's a little small, you know, electronic component that mounts to a circuit board in the back of this light. So the cool thing is to get some of these details, like this accent light and the individual bulb areas that you see, there's multiple LEDs that are inside each light. Uh, that are mounted to a circuit board with some heat sinks, some other electronics, um, which really gives us the ability, independent of where your battery's at, to get that really high crisp light output. So you can sustain that bright white light, you know, even if you've got a lot of other things that are loaded on the vehicle, drawing the battery down a little bit. When you look at the shape and design, you can see, you know, lined up to the front of the vehicle, both of these kind of share a very similar interface to the, the front end. On the back of this LED one, though, if we pop the hood off of here, you know, you kind of saw what the, the back of those uh, halogen ones looked like. You can see here, it's a similar connector that plugs in, but there's a whole lot of heat sink that's in the back to be able to dissipate the heat from those LEDs that they generate by, by producing all this light. So it's a pretty neat uh, setup when you actually look at one, but it works really, really well for the off-road environment. So should we cut the lights and uh, get these things repositioned so we can actually shine them at a wall and see what they look like? Yeah, I think it's time for some show and tell. All right. All right, so Chris, we got the unit with halogen lights lined up against the door. What, what are you getting ready to do here? Uh, we're gonna turn the low beams on, show you guys that first. All right. So what do we see right now? Kind of a flat pattern, a little muted on the outside, a little yellowish light. What happens when you flip that switch up to high beam? Let's see. So light does get a little brighter, shines a little higher, so you get a little further punch out of that light. Nice, well let's swap, swap this out and get the LED unit in here. All right, Chris, so we swapped out the Rangers. We got the one with LED headlights in the exact same front end position now. So why don't you hit those low beams and see what we got. Okay, so what, what do we see that's different than what we saw in the halogens here? Well, the first thing I noticed is it's way brighter. And the second thing is the white light versus the yellow. It just looks so much clearer. Yeah, I think the other thing too is you get a little wider field of view, right? Like you can see where the walls lit up a little farther to the sides beyond just, you know, kind of the door itself. Yeah, wait till we turn the high beams on. Oh, kick them on, man. What do we got? Boom! Put your sunglasses on. <laughs> so what do we get here? The cool thing is the light's actually additive, right? So you get kind of low plus high, whereas in the halogens, you were really going from low to high. Dude, these things are badass. Yeah, there's a ton of light. I'm telling you, we, we pull these things into a field and turn on the high beams, everybody puts their headlamp away. Like, you just don't need it. 
Nice. So we just had the lights off. We showed you guys some of these lights. Uh, Pat, recap what we saw. Yeah, absolutely. So on the halogens, you saw they were a little more of a yellow color, a warmer temp. The LEDs obviously a little whiter, uh, you know, a little, little cooler temp on the light. Um, we've got lower power draw on these. We've got bigger field of view. You know, you kind of saw that horizontal and how much more it filled up the wall with the LEDs. Um, you know, they use less power. Obviously, they look cool. Um, you know, overall, they're a phenomenal light. And Chris, I heard you, you actually got the chance to run some of these before they were even released, right? Yeah, this is one of my favorite upgrades that we've done on Ranger. I've had a set of these since way before we launched them to the public. And the thing I love about them is using them for hunting. I do a lot of goose hunting, especially in fields. And the thing I love is being able to pull my Ranger out into the field, kick these into high beam, and there's no more headlamps. We're walking around and it looks like daylight out there setting up decoys. Makes it way easier and it's a huge upgrade. Nice. Well, so Chris, I've got a Ranger that's a couple years older. I'm still rocking the halogens on mine. Can I upgrade to LEDs or am I kind of stuck with the halogens I got? Yep, so same housing, same connector on the back, so you can swap it back and forth, and it's a pretty quick job. Hey, we just covered off on halogen versus LED headlights on Rangers. So that's it for this episode of Shop Talk. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you thought about the episode. If you guys have any recommendations for future episodes you want to see, let us know, and you might see it in a future video. 